All right. Hi, dude. Hi. My name is Jesse Wallacher. I am with Confident Fit Coaching, the Brain Up Diaries podcast. It is cold out right now, so I'm letting my car warm up. But you clicked on this video because your boyfriend is not giving you enough attention. We're just going to jump right into it. You want a little bit more connection, like a few more cuddles, even just a hug, even just like a look your way. And he's not doing it and you don't want to tell him that you want it because then it's forced and you want him to just want to do it and not have to like tell him what to do. But that's what you're feeling like you need to do. But it's not in the way that you really want it to be. You would just rather him like read your mind and know that like right now you want cuddles even though like five minutes ago you wanted nothing to do with him and no attention at all. And no, it's not because you're on your period. It's just because that's where you're at right now. So here's the deal. <laughs> It's not because it's not him. It's not him. And I know you're clicking through videos to try and figure out what it is that you need to do in order for him to just give you the attention that you desperately want. It's not about that. It's about you. Because somewhere in your life, in your environment, in your soul, you are craving attention and support and it needs to start with you first before any outside validation before any outside people will give it to you in the way that you want in the way that you deserve so it starts with you so we are going to break it down and I know you don't want to hear this but I promise you stick with me and I'll show you how this all works together because I've been able to do this very easily <laughs> it's a working progress and it takes a little doing to get used to it because you just want that attention now but I promise you it will come when you start with yourself so odds are if you are craving attention you don't feel that you are getting it in any other kind of way I'm, I'm I don't want to be filming in front of people <laughs> I feel weird but okay so the reason that you're feeling that way is because you aren't giving yourself that attention and support and accountability and just that love so you were looking for outside sources rather than just giving it to you yourself because that's a little harder because odds are you got to forgive yourself. You got to work through something. You've got to allow yourself a little bit of room and a little bit of grace. So it could be you're in school and school is getting really hectic and it's stressful and you're holding yourself to this high expectation or maybe you need a 4.0 and you've got all of these classes to do and then you're working on the side and even if you're not in school, like you have a full-time job and you have a relationship and you want to do all of these big things and you've got big dreams and big goals or you are really, these are the people that I work with, you are really competitive and driven. So maybe you're starting your own business or maybe you're working towards this like big career, this big goal and um, you're super strict and consistent with your diet and your workouts, but things just don't feel the same anymore and you feel like you're just on cruise control and you're feeling drained and you just don't feel like anything is working out anymore. So no matter what it is, somewhere in your life, you are feeling drained and you are feeling unsupported and you don't feel good. So you are attaching to something that you feel you can control and in this situation, it's your boyfriend and getting attention from him and getting the love and support that you don't feel like you're getting in something else because it's a quick, easy fix and he's not giving it to you. So then you feel even worse. You feel even less than and so frustrated. So you're going to lash all of your frustration and complaints out on him. And then it's just going to make that relationship even worse. It's going, it's going to, it's going to, it's going to bring it down the drain and that's not what you want you have a good thing going and when you started this relationship or maybe you're switching in it now you don't want that anymore you want something that you want a partner in crime you want somebody you want a best friend you want somebody that you can talk to about anything and fully trust and have an open conversation and really have like a deep connection that you've never experienced before but also in doing that you're allowing somebody else into your life that has their own thoughts, their own feelings, their own emotions as well. And that can be hard and scary because then they could um, betray your trust. Because somewhere in your life story, somebody broke your trust. Somebody let you down. And you are trying so hard to not let that happen again that you're putting up barriers. So the moment your boyfriend doesn't want to give you a hug because he can't read your mind and he thinks that you're okay or he thinks that, oh, maybe the, maybe she just needs space 
And it's nothing more than that. It's not that he doesn't like you. He's trying to do what he thinks is best or he just doesn't notice. You're going to lash out and you're going to hold up that wall and you're going to try and make it work or try and do something else or just get frustrated because you would rather do that than let your trust be broken again. It's not about him. It's all about you. And the moment you start to take that away, and here's what I do. So with my clients, I focus I focus, I focus on helping my clients create a solid base in health. And then once we have healed those emotions and those attachments to their food and fitness, because it's something that has completely taken over their life, then we are able to heal all the other areas that it has just like been detrimental in. So with the experimental approach, there is no success or failure. There is just an outcome. And with that outcome, you get to decide what it is you want to do with it. Is it something you want to keep going? Is it something you want to tweak? Is it exactly what you're looking for? And then you keep doing it. But there's no right or wrong way to do it because it is your life and you are deciding. So if you take this experimental approach and we're just like, okay, he is not giving me the attention that I want. So, and I don't want to be this needy person. I don't want to be that kind of person in this relationship. I want him to just fully want to give me attention and want to show love in his way and know that, you know what, it's it may not be in the way that I want, but I know that, like, he'll give it to me in his way and that's what I find, like, the most precious. So, if I give myself the love and attention and affection that I need, that I want, that I deserve in the best way that I can do, what does that look like? What if I just focus on me, fill my cup, make sure that I'm okay in the way that I want to be because he's not giving it to me in the way that I want, so I'm going to give it to myself, fill my cup, take off that pressure, take off that heavy energy because you know when things don't feel good when you are in a fight the moment that you guys enter the room it's just uncomfortable and you can feel this heavy weight or this heavy energy or if you've never experienced that just think of like when your parents ever got in a fight or when you're around your best friend and her boyfriend and they just got in a fight and it's like really awkward like energy has that physical weight so if you take that away from the situation and you just focus on yourself guess what? He's going to realize that that weight is gone. And if you want a healthy, abundant, mature relationship, then he's just going to want to like give it to you. He's going to, he's not going to feel forced to, he's going to be able to like show you the love and attention that he wants to give you. And when you're not looking for it and when you're not like putting pressure on it and needing it, oh, then it just feels so much better. And that's how you get his attention. This is what I did with my boyfriend. Today we are celebrating our six month anniversary and I'm not going to see him till later tonight, <laughs> but it's fine and it's so fun and it's, it's the relationship I've always wanted and it's nothing like anything else anybody, ever, anybody else would have, but here's the deal. So I've been going through my own shit and like dealing with my own work and focusing on doing this myself. So I remember like he wasn't cuddling me as much as I wanted to and I said, I'm saying all these things because it's exactly what I was thinking. Like, I don't want him to, I don't want to tell him that I want cuddles because then he's not going to, he's going to be forced to do it and it's not going to be like as long as I want because he's just going to roll over and go to bed and this, that, and the other. So I'm like, okay, you know what? This isn't about him. Stop bringing him into our own mess and let it be, okay? This isn't about him. We can do this. This is our own shit. And this is just something that we are working through. It's nothing more than that. We don't need to figure out what is wrong with us because nothing is wrong with us. We just need to be okay with working on ourselves. So I went to bed. I made it no big deal. I wrote out everything that was going around in my head because this is another thing. When you get the stuff that's like circling in your head and you write it down and it's physically in front of you, it no longer has the same amount of weight because it's not just cycling and cycling and cycling and spinning. It's in the physical world. You're able to look at it and then it's like, this is doable. This is no big deal. So I did that. And then the next day it was like really nice. And we um, went out to, I can't remember. 
I honestly can't remember anymore. But, like, we probably went out to eat, and then we watched a movie and just cuddled, and it was just, like, a really nice day. And any little attention and any little affection that he gave in his way, how he wanted to, just meant so much more to me because I was giving myself exactly what I needed. So extra abundance was able to flow in because there wasn't this heavy energy of I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. And it's, I'm good, I'm full, I'm abundant. And he wanted to add to it or he didn't feel pressured to or he just showed it because he could so think of it do you want to give affection and attention to somebody that needs it and it's never enough and you always have to give and give and give or do you want to just do it because you want to it's not about him you need to start loving on yourself accepting yourself and understanding just how amazing you are before you can expect him to do the exact same, okay? It starts with you. So stop looking about the three tips to trick him into loving you, um, the three things to say to make him want to call you back. Like, stop it, stop it, stop it. You do not need that needy shit in your life. And if you want your relationship to be different, you got to start by doing it differently and approaching it differently and actually putting yourself first, taking care of yourself, and actually seeing what happens then, okay? So go work on yourself, go find a fun piece of paper or your favorite notebook that you have just not been journaling in and just write everything down that's going on in your head. Work through it and understand it's not about him, it's about you, okay? And if it is about him and if he's not treating you the way that you should and want to be treated and holding yourself to like high standards and expectations, and I probably will be talking more about this, so stay tuned, but... If he's not the person for you and you feel like you need to sacrifice or compromise in ways that you don't feel comfortable with, then he is not meant for you, okay? Anything else can be worked out, but if you are sacrificing your boundaries and your sense of self in ways that you aren't comfortable with, it's, then, the, then it's him. Then it's him. But everything else is you, okay? So work on yourself. Show yourself some love. Go and get yourself some coffee, girl. And just chill. Give yourself a day. Treat yourself like the queen that you are and the queen that you want to be treated as and see what happens when you take the pressure off of him. Okay? I hope you have a fantastic day. If you want to connect more, follow me on all my social medias. I will hopefully have them linked below. But Facebook, Instagram. Check out my podcast, um, uh, The Brain Dump Diaries on Spotify and SoundCloud. But I will be on here a lot more as well, just talking more um, riff and shit and stuff like that. But... Have a fantastic day, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye-bye!